<laughs> it is time for us to get this party started. So, Grab Alyssa said, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Alyssa, love that. So, this week, this week, our topic is all about something that's super, super cool, and that is tree houses of the world. So I'd like to hear from everyone on this call whether or not you grew up with a treehouse in your backyard or in a neighbor's yard. Raise your hand if you ever played in a treehouse as a child or had one in your backyard. So some of us did. A treehouse. A treehouse. No. Okay. Does anyone have any <laughs> memories from their treehouse days that they want to share with you? <laughs> Alyssa, I, did you say you do? I do, but I didn't have no, I forgot the memories. Me and my, when I was kind of hide from my brother. Mm -hmm. You would hide from your brother in the treehouse? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can work. It can serve as a retreat, as a place to relax, to hang out with friends, to even live. Some people live in tree houses around the world, and you can rent them out around the world and check it out as an Airbnb or through another agency. So we're going to explore all of that in this meeting. Um, when I was a kid, my brothers and I loved tree houses and we would pop them up on the property, just rickety little tree houses. And what we loved to do was put a pulley system from one to the other. So a higher <laughs> one to a lower one, and then you'd zoom down to the next one. <laughs> and that was super fun. So I really enjoyed doing some research for this meeting because I found some pretty cool stuff about tree houses around the world. Elaine. Hey. Yeah, I was just thinking, it just crossed my mind that I bet a few people have been to uh, the Nature Center here in town. I know, I knew, Josh, you've been there. Been and there you, in fifth grade. Yeah, and was the treehouse built then, Emily? They have a I really, remember. they have a really cool treehouse mm -hmm. there um, that is kind of in this swampy area. Uh, and you can even <coughs> spend the night in it. So it's very cool. There's no uh, electricity and there's no water. So. That would drive me crazy. <laughs> <I'm> right. <Yeah. laughs> That's right. Elena, I actually have a short little video about that. Um, and this may be a great chance for me to play that for you all. So these tree houses, like we talked about, they're worldwide. You can find tree houses all over the globe, but we also have some right here in our own backyard of Chattanooga. And this went on the news. Let's do it. Three top hideaways. So this was back in 2015, just a 12 second clip. Y'all ready? Let's do this. Okay. Right resort at the foot of Lookout Mountain opens this weekend. Treetop hideaways are climate controlled with bathrooms, internet, and for $275 per night. Wow, that's a cool. So, did you guys see? I'm going to try to back night. up there. Look at this. This is the base of Lookout Mountain, right up the Tennessee Georgia line. Mm hmm. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. That's right. So tree top hideaways. Oh, I don't, house. this is different than what Elaine mentioned about the nature center, but it's very close to that area. At least Those I think cool, it's, I think it's different. Correct me if I'm wrong, Elaine. Okay. Yeah, I think it, it's different, I, but. Yeah, I believe like the nature center is something that's really cool that they do that's there. Um, or they used to do before, you know, before COVID hit was they would have small concerts in the treehouse in the middle of the swamp in the nature center. So you could mm. get a ticket and maybe 15 people could go into the treehouse and have this really intimate setting with the local artists that were playing bluegrass or mm. rock and roll or folk music. Uh, it was a pretty special thing that they had going on. So, so there is definitely an appeal to tree houses, right? It's something that a lot of people are interested in, whether you're a kid or a grown adult. 
a treehouse is just really cool. But my question for you is what does it take for it to become a treehouse? What are the requirements to make it a treehouse? A lot of wood. A lot of wood. I like that, Alyssa. Josh, what do you think? <laughs> it needs a tree. Yes, it needs a tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Julie, did you have something? Oh, yeah, you, know. you have to have a lot of equipment right. to go with it. A lot of equipment to build it? To build a tree house. You have to yeah. get all the stuff for it. That's right. We're actually going to learn more about the, how you build tree houses stuff. during our meeting today and some of the equipment that they use and some really cool adaptations to get in and out of the tree house or just fun little things um, inside of the tree houses. Anyone else want to mention something that's a requirement to make it a treehouse? Seth, did I see your hand up? There's one right there. You have one in the backyard. Oh, very cool, Seth. Huh. Well, here are some other requirements. So a treehouse, just like you all have said, must be built either around a tree, in a tree, or elevated on stilts. So there are a few different things that can make it a tree house. There will be some that we see that aren't built around a tree or in, or in a tree or anything like that. They're built on stilts and they're kind of a pseudo tree house. So we'll see some of those too. I'll be right back. But part of what makes it so magical, we're going to get into here with this next video that I have to show you. Um, which is titled Life in the Trees with the Treehouse Masters. Okay, we'll just watch a short clip of this one and then we'll come back to it later. DIY it. So what would you say your absolute favorite thing about tree houses is? I'd say immediately what comes to mind is the escape from reality. You know, you Ooh, open up the front door and you walk in and you're kind of just like, totally taken aback from all your world troubles. Oh, it's like house. taken back down to ground zero and yeah. basically just become a kid again. And it's that stress-free feeling that is, I think so. I mean, Ever since I was a kid, I have been obsessed with tree houses and getting to walk into this space and tour this home is an absolute dream come true for me. Thank you so much for sharing it with me. It's been a pleasure to meet you, man. So, mm. It's just a short little clip that explaining some of the magic behind yes, the tree house. What were some things that stood out to you from what he said? Anybody want to add anything that stood out that they heard in that little clip? Well, one of the things that he said was about how magical it could be. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yes. cool. And I kept that's hearing cool. the word kid thrown around. It makes you feel like a kid again. Mm -hmm. And relaxing, stress free zone. That's good. Uh huh. And they even did some really cool cinematography. I think that's the word for it with like the lighting on the pillow. You know, I like a little stress, a, a little stress leave me just by watching that little video. So, so. I'm going to play another little clip for you from a Disney movie. I want you to tell me if you recognize what this movie is. Let's do it. Because it's really based Disney around a tree house. Okay. Don't look at the title. <laughs> <laughs> so in this clip all the latest innovations running water genuine imported tortoiseshell you can see some of the way they've adapted it I can't believe it. I'm so 
Keeps out wild animals. Like mouse. It might become a nuisance. You know, always wanted to borrow something. Hey, yeah. sit down. So you probably guessed it. The movie is. Swiss Family Robinson. Swiss Family Robinson. Has anyone watched that movie? I do. No, ma'am. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Watched that movie. <laughs> we'll have to put that on your list of things during your internship. It is a really good movie. It's kind of old, like you could tell. But um, they build this treehouse when they're stranded on an island. So you can see some of what they did at the end, the staircase. They can bring it up all the way so that no one can access the treehouse um, using their staircase. And there's actually a tribe of people in... Um, another part of the world who still live in tree houses for that reason so that their neighboring tribes can't access their homes in their tree houses so hang tight because we'll get to that later in the meeting but first before we get there i have something else to show you and that is uh the first video that we watched we're going to watch some more about that to get an explanation of, um, of how tree houses are built. And well, actually, I'm going to shift things up a bit, a little bit. So before we look at that, I want to show you a lot of different kinds of tree houses so that we can wrap our minds around what they look like. There are some pretty cool ones out there. All right, so this is from, House Beautiful, and they have a list of 32 of their favorite tree houses. So we're just going to work through this together and check them out. This one, La Cabane Perche Tree House, is something like Swiss Family Robinson, and it's an Airbnb, so you can rent it. And this is in France. It's basically a little hut built up into the tree. This next one, is in the countryside of Arlina di Castro. I don't even know where that is in the world, you guys. <coughs> have to look that up and let me know. <laughs> so here, I'm assuming there's an olive grove. So I think, oh, it's an Italian bed and breakfast. That makes sense. But you can see this winding staircase, which is a really beautiful design. And here are the olive groves in the background. Mm -hmm. Who wants to live here? I do. <laughs> It looks very picturesque. Me, myself, and I. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this one is in Australia. Down in Australia. And you can see they uh -huh. built around some of these trees here. And it's in a private wilderness of their blue mountains. This next one is in Glacier National Park. We've been there with our virtual hiking club and that's in the state of Montana. Okay. So like you can see, it's a good winter getaway. They have a Look lot of that. snow there. I like to live there. <laughs> I know, again, they've got the winding staircase and then two stories. I think that looks charming. It does. Yeah. Oh, if you're looking for something more tropical, I want to go there. You might go to the Bali tree house. That looks pretty. And this is in Indonesia. Looks like they have a swimming pool. 
<laughs> I know, they sure do. You can get coconuts, papayas, all this tropical fruit while you're there and really relax. Pineapple. <laughs> this one, San Jose Treehouse, is in the state of California, overlooking yeah, the Silicon dying. Valley. So that's a nice rustic house in the trees. Willow Tree House. This one is in Woodstock, New York. So that's a little oh. bit of a different, more modern style. I think it's pretty one neat. Huge window pane. Kind of looks like a spaceship to me. <laughs> oh, it's like a spaceship. You think so too, Seth? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> this is Mountaintop Lookout Treehouse. At first I thought maybe it had to do with Lookout Mountain, but it doesn't. It's in <laughs> Southern Oregon. So they're saying that you can look out yeah, onto bang. the Umpqua National Forest. Fun fact for you, there's an Umpqua ice cream brand and it's really delicious. It comes out of Oregon. Oh. Yes, so you can put that on your list. Umpqua ice cream. Oh, so I love ice cream. House. That don't look like no tree house. It really yeah. doesn't, does it? So it doesn't have the branches. It just has this base right here. The base of the tree, it looks like they took off the branches and they used that it's going through the house. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So they built around that tree. <clears throat> Can you see the one here in this picture? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's oh, that's hiding. Oh. Look at that, it's right here. So wow. this is entirely made of glass in Sweden. Okay, that's cool. Uh -huh. Isn't that amazing? This is a real picture. It's called the Mirrored Cube Tree House. Okay. And you that's have this bridge, nice. a suspension bridge that, bridge that leads out to it. No one can look inside. They just see the reflection of the trees around the tree house. <laughs> I think that's pretty incredible. I died. And then if you go to Scotland, uh, here's a Scottish tree house. It's a little cottage built around the tree at the base of the tree. So I guess in the summertime, you'd have some nice shade with all of these branches up above you. I think this is one of my favorites with that view of the lake in the background and the mountains. And yet you have all this shelter from the tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Nice. Here's another yeah, one with rope yeah. bridges. So you use the rope to access or the bridge to access the treehouse. Some cool. have ladders, some have uh, bicycles, some have bridges. We'll get more into the bicycle thing soon. Look at this one. Now that's cool. That looks like a rocket ship. I know. They call it the UFO treehouse. So this one's unique because it's not actually built on the tree really. So they have these straps connecting or cables probably connecting to the trees around it, suspending it in the air. So that's how it's suspended rather than stilts or the tree itself. It's just through these suspension cables. I think it was here, but on Lookout Mountain, I think it's on Seagull Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Good point, yeah. Lisa. There's a, a house that looks like a UFO on your winding road up Signal Mountain. It's very think, unique. Looks uh, like, yeah, a spaceship or a yeah. UFO, basically. That's okay. called tree. This is a French oh, castle tree house. I want to live in that. Oh, <laughs> that's me. There's it, a that's boat a and a wood like bridge. Yeah. Me, both and I. I would like just a, just a little picture of it, but you can see how cute this is. You have access to another room here with this staircase, these fun little round bump outs to the tree house. I so like this one. I do too. Oh, okay. I do too. This one's a yep. fan favorite. <laughs> if they have a game wing. Well, talk about luxury. This is in Kenya, Africa. These are luxury tents of tree houses up in the trees, in the canopy. So they're built above the canopy of the trees so you can have this beautiful vista or view. Hmm. 
Whispering Wind Treehouse in the Hudson mm. Valley. This is a true off-grid experience. So there's no electricity, no heat, no Wi-Fi. <gasps> Uh, what? Uh, well, was, don't book a vacation there during one of our Zoom meetings crazy. because you couldn't join us. That was right. checking that one off the list, Michelle. Yeah, <laughs> going back to the castle. <laughs> yeah, I think the castle was more popular than this one. I have heat and Wafa. <laughs> Michelle. Oh, this one did Costa Rica. I had to have Wafa. Costa Rica. <laughs> Do you know, uh, Alyssa, you know, we call that, I don't know if you saw it in one of the previous pictures, but it's more, uh, I would say you might be more of a glamper than a camper, right? <laughs> that you that you like glamping. Right? Ding, ding, ding. That's me. That's you too, Rachel. <laughs> you like more of the amenities, right? You want the heat. You want the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the same way. I'm the same way too. I would have taken you for uh, one of one of these kinds of people right here. Off the grid, roughing it, sleep out under the stars. No, that's not you, Julie. Mm -mm. No. I had to have a TV. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that uh, you guys, I bet Michelle would be, she'd be off the grid. I, yeah. I would. I Michelle like to would be. sometimes. <laughs> I like to be in a place where no one can find me. <laughs> yeah. I don't have I, to answer uh, any emails. Oh. I don't have to answer any phone calls. <laughs> I will be lost. <laughs> so here's our next one in Central America in the rainforest. Oh, this is my mom's. Yeah. You could go uh, rafting and zip lining. This is like a really fancy version of what my brothers and I built when we were kids. Really fancy compared to what we built. This but, is definitely my mom. Y'all know there's a show on um, Animal Planet. It's a tree house. Show. Yeah. This is on Whitby oh. Island in oh. Washington. Oh. This is built out of a cedar tree. So you can see how certain houses are their structure is different. This one comes into the tree like this for bracing for the foundation of the house and just a staircase instead of, um, instead of any bridges or spiral staircases. They'll start falling. Winnegan Farm, this is in Connecticut. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. I bet you have a beautiful view of the fall colors here in this tree. Yeah. yeah. This one is in Missouri. Oh, man, it's pooping out a lot of honey. Missouri, huh? That's surprising to me. This is another Italian tree house. All mm. different kinds of tree houses. I'm gonna keep us cruising so we don't run out of time. Here's another one built in Missouri. Oh, this is in Hawaii, deep in the jungle. Ooh, it looks like they even have a little swing below. Mm, I want it looks fun. It does look fun. Check this out. Bird's nest treehouse. So they made this one to look like a bird's nest with all these branches. But when you get inside, it's actually a really cozy space. Uh, if we have time, I'll show you some of that in another video. Okay. Adirondack treehouse. This is also in New York. I'm from there. Me too. Oh, look at that. Dragonfly Treehouse. So they're saying that it gets its name from the unique two wing layout that allows it to fit between the surrounding trucks trunks perfectly. The dragonfly. Uh, 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 a little boxy spa treehouse. That sounds nice. Hey, yes. Uh -huh. that's, that's uh, calling my name. <laughs> oh, same here, Julie. Me too. <laughs> this Same is in here. the state of Vermont, up in the northeast. Cozy cedar tree house in down, oh, close to downtown Chicago. That's what? surprising. Just it's outside surprising. of the big city of Chicago. 
colorful treehouse in Sweden. It definitely stands out for that bright color. Jungle treehouse. That's Some cool. say it looks like it's straight out of Tarzan. It does. So oh, it is, it is. before you get too excited, know that you have to climb a hundred steps just Ooh, to get to oh it. Oh my god. I don't think so. <laughs> no way. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm with Julie on this one. Me too. But it is in Hawaii, so that might make it worth it. I'd rather go there. <laughs> and last but not least, Green Mountain Tree House in Vermont. This looks very rustic and beautiful. Okay. Okay, I'm going to bring us back together. That, that gives you an overview of different tree houses yeah. around the world and different styles that you can see too. So I think the popular vote was the French Ooh. castle, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, with like the different levels different and all the nooks and crannies. That was What about cool. that one with the pool down below though? Oh. That too. I know, remember? I think it was very tropical. <laughs> I remember something about coconuts and papayas and foot massages and <laughs> 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 So my next question for you is, how do you build a tree house? Now that we've seen all these cool designs, I want to show you a video where they explain just that. And they talk a little bit more about the detail, what it takes to build a tree house, what the materials are like, what do you need to think about? How much does it cost? So that will be the first video that I shared with you. We're gonna watch about five minutes of it. Let's do it. Any questions before we jump into that video? Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone want to build a, a tree house now? Yep. No. <laughs> You're saying those are too many steps. It's too hard. I want my big tub. I want my Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, for those of us who are interested in Google, our own, we're going to uh, pick up a few, a few notes from this video. I'm thinking, Michelle, I might wait until um, after quarantine. It might get a little cramped over here at my house, you know? Yeah. With all these animals and kids all in a little tree house. I, I just want to have my own tree house. <laughs> so I'm glad you mentioned that, Elaine, because there's a movement these days over the past maybe 10 years or less about the tiny house. Anybody heard about the tiny house movement? So yeah. tree houses are now jumping on board with that. People are extending it beyond the tiny house on wheels to be the tiny house in trees. So it's really uh, probably better for one, maybe two people, not necessarily a whole family, unless you're the Swiss family Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so this video is super fun for me because it's happening in Seattle, Washington, which is really close to where I'm from. And yeah. you might think okay. uh, you might think his accent is kind of funny. So tell me <laughs> what you think. This guy is not from there. He's from New Zealand, but the other guy yeah. is a native, and he's definitely a bro man. <laughs> hey, we've traveled to Seattle, Washington, to meet Nelson Treehouse and Supply, and see one of their incredible new projects. Grammarly. So they're showing us a little ad. Um, uh, where's that? Be able to skip it here in a second. Okay. Hey, Garrett. Hey. Awesome to meet you, mate. Glad you can make it. Welcome. Me too. Dude, what can I even say about this treehouse? This is so impressive. Pretty cool, huh? Nelson Treehouse and Supply was founded by Pete Nelson. You might also know him from the TV show Treehouse Masters on Animal Planet. Pete has been building treehouses for 40 plus years. He's built over 250 tree houses and in 2010 he started Nelson Treehouse and Supply and basically we travel the world building luxury, livable, fully function, fully furnished tree houses. 
so tell me a little bit about the construction of this thing because this doesn't look like the sort of thing that you just throw together in your backyard. There is some pretty heavy hardware that's holding this thing up, isn't there? Yeah, so the whole treehouse is fully engineered. We have our treehouse attachment bolt that basically holds the whole thing together. It is 18 pounds of heat treated steel bolt right into the tree. Steel yoke holding two steel beams. It's sound. There could be an earthquake and a windstorm and this thing is not going anywhere. This is definitely really well attached, but the question that I have to ask is, how does this actually affect the tree? I mean, they look quite invasive in there, don't they? We get that question so often, and the way a tree grows is all the nutrients flows through the cambium layer, which is this thin layer between the bark and the actual inside of the tree. So when you install this tab, basically you're making a three inch circle in the cambium layer. So really that just triggers reaction wood and makes the tree grow around the tab and makes the connection even stronger over time. One of the other really unique things about this setup is it's actually not just just attach the one tree it's actually fixed to two so how do you get around that challenge the tree house is engineered with a static tree and a dynamic tree so basically everything is bolted onto this tree and the whole platform the tree house will move with this tree that tree on the other hand is dynamic you can see up there our connection is using dynamic uplift arresters that allows the tree to move in the wind and slide around and keeps the bolts intact and keeps the tree house from getting any damage. So it's kind of like you figure out which tree you want to be static and you figure out which tree you want to move and you engineer the tree house to kind of be dynamic and move with the forces of nature. So how do these tree houses actually cope with the growth of the tree? You're only going to see growth outward. So you don't need to worry so much as trees growing different rates or you know this tree is going to grow five feet and this tree is going to go three because they're kind of growing from their tips and not so much at the base. So the tabs really stay where you put them and that's where they're going to live. And it's good to see. I'm going to pause real quick. Alyssa, did you raise your hand? Or was that an accident? You're muted. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, we'll continue. <laughs> Do you guys think this is interesting? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we'll play a couple more yeah. minutes before we move on to the next thing. To see as well that you've also utilized the space underneath the treehouse. Yeah, so this is a Kodama zone, and I mean, what better way to hang a swinging chair than from the bottom of the treehouse? That's actually one of the really cool things about treehouses as well, because all of the land is actually still undisturbed, isn't it? Right, yeah, so you're basically taking the foundation of the house and, you know, lifting it, in this case, 14, 17 feet off the ground, so there's still kind of like a ground ecosystem that can exist under the treehouse. Well, enough of being on the ground, let's get in the tree. Yeah, let's head up, I'll show you around. Okay, so we have a curved stair set um, outfitted with natural cedar branch railing kind of a ode to the treehouse lifestyle. This treehouse is like 80% built from cedar. You know, we have cedar stair treads, cedar decking, cedar siding, cedar railings. I mean, we have a lot of cedar here in Washington and it's great because cedar is actually weather resistant. So it can stand for years out in rainstorms and it's never gonna rot. Which, especially when you're this high up, is really important. Right, right, yeah, you don't want to fall through the floorboards. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Right. And what a great space you've got up here. Having especially this balcony area, it really allows the house to take advantage of its location, doesn't it? Right, well, I mean, a big thing about having a tree house is being able to be next to the tree. And so it's pretty important that every tree house has a deck. And like I said, we get a lot of rain. So the sleeping loft actually acts as a canopy for the table here and we have a curved hog wire paneled railing here so it adds kind of a nice natural detail and one of the other things I noticed obviously the treehouse itself is quite squared but you do have a lot of features that are curved in this as well kind of harking back to the tree right, that it's right. built around yeah I mean it's definitely somewhat more of a modern treehouse we have a lot of 90 degree corners and lines and you know I think it's complemented pretty cool with the curved stair deck and it kind of just creates that contrast between like new and modern and back to nature. Can we have a look inside? Yeah, that's what we came for. Let's go check it out. Welcome to the tree house. This is really cool. Standing in here, it feels very much like I'm actually in a normal house. It's incredibly stable, and it's not until I actually look out the windows that I realize, yep, I'm actually standing in a treehouse right now. Yeah, I think that's a big thing about tiny living and treehouse living is that, you know, you want to feel at home. You don't want to feel like you're living in a plastic box. And so, you know, all the wood and the smell and the structure just really makes you feel at home. So when you're at 
So I'm going to pause that there. Yeah, right. So there's just a little insight into what it takes to build a tree house. What we didn't get to is how much that cost. Uh, so to build that tree house, to buy that tree house and live in it or use it as a vacation home or whatever would be $150,000. Wow. 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 That's, that's, oh my you know, God. Know, that's a luxury tree house. Very different you know, than the ones we built in our backyards as kids. I was going to ask Michelle if that's what you were uh, hanging out in. <laughs> No, I uh, don't have enough money for that. <laughs> but they also sell do-it-yourself or DIY projects where they have videos to show you if you want to build it yourself. And that comes from a lot of the cost of labor. So, uh, so that option is out there too for people. He mentioned Pete Nelson, who started that company. And he's also really... Um, a huge part of Treehouse Hunters, which is a big television series that I wanted to show you just a little snippet of, because this is something, if you're interested, you can go back and watch some on your own. You can't watch the full episode unless you have, I think it's Discovery uh, Plus, uh, but you can watch little short videos of that. Thank you. Okay. So we're just going to play like a quick minute of this before we move on to the next thing. Treehouse hunters or treehouse masters behind the build. Oh, I've seen this. Hey, everybody. Me? Nelson here from Treehouse Masters. This is Pete Nelson himself. This is the man who founded um, the company that we just watched in the last video. And today I'm just a little north of New York City, a place called Suffern, New York. We have just completed a treehouse for Grace Vanderwall. You ready to see it? Because it's done. Ta-da! There are two treehouses actually, and they're connected by this beautiful bridge. On the right is the art studio, and on the left is sort of the clubhouse treehouse. Before I go into the treehouses, I just want to show you how these bouncy bridges are made structurally, because they're a little bit tricky, so come with me. So here, is this beautiful red oak, specimen of a red oak, right in the prime of its life. And this is kind of connecting two separate bridges. Structurally, we've got these big bolts that go into the tree, cables that stretch over to the other tree, and then secondary redundant backup. This little loop is just a safety loop, so it would catch it if it fell. These are big braces because when you come to a tree like this, the transition from one bridge to the next requires a little bit of a platform. So we've created a pretty heavy duty platform right here so you can get around the tree and go from one bridge to the next. I love those spiral stairs. Okay, come and take a look at this. This is so cute. Just a little clubhouse hangout. We've got a refrigerator. We've got couches, oh, yeah. nice chairs, Aww. nice little furry rugs. There's even a little dog house. Aww. Upstairs, boom, two of these hang out there. Cute. There's a little bed up there. You can take a nap. Okay, onto the bridge. Boingy, really fun, nice and safe. So this yeah, is sort of a creative cool. space, an art studio, and it's just a lot of windows, and that's so important in treehouse building. Windows, doors, that just lets in all that light. Structurally, it can be tricky too because this is just brittle glass. So in the end, you've got to have yeah. some sheer walls. So we've got a big four foot wide. Okay, we'll pause there. So I want to take you. This is on Animal Planet. Um, so this website, the way Love that Restaurant Impossible, video, now Discovery Plus is the only- Sorry, we don't want that. Uh, so you can access it through this link, which I'm going to put in the chat box, and you can copy it if you want to check it out on your own. Um, and then look at this, you guys, all these different episodes. Um, and here behind the build, they have these short clips that'll give you some more information. So these are the ones that you can watch without a subscription. I gotta go through this. It's a pretty cool resource. Okay. I'm going to share that now with everyone. And you then, guys, oh. oh, go ahead, Elaine. I was just gonna say, I heard a couple of you say that you've seen that show before. Who, who said that? Has anybody, it was you, Rachel? Awesome. Josh? No. 
No. Um, and I was trying to think, I've seen it before and I don't have any of the fancy channels, so I'm not really sure how I've seen it, but it's pretty cool to see all the cool tree houses that he built all over the country. So yeah, it definitely is. Check out that link for sure. Yeah. So, I saw it because yeah. I was bored. Yeah. What's that, Rachel? I just saw it one day because I was bored. But, uh, but I bet you weren't bored no more after you watched those videos. Right. Y'all say build me one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we so are technically at the end of our program time. I do have another couple little things to show you, though, if you want to hang out for a few more minutes. If you need to leave, we understand and we wish you well. We hope you enjoy this afternoon. If not, I want to show you something really cool about how you get into a treehouse without a bridge, without stairs. How do you get in something? You will see. I'll make my fiance build me one. Oh, there you go, Alyssa. <laughs> you drive me crazy. I'm gonna say, you know what? You're gonna build me a you're gonna build me one. <laughs> Here it is. We should be good. Could be your getaway, guys. This is a oh, three yeah. house bicycle home. elevator. Howdy, neighbors. This is going to be a gas. Yes. Okay. Oh. Treehouse bicycle elevator. No, I heard about this. Treehouse and this bicycle elevator thing um, about five years ago. Uh, I built the bicycle elevator because I got really tired of climbing up ladders into the treehouse. I came up with this idea with my friend Aza and it's a, it's a lot better for getting into the treehouse than a ladder. Yep, Frederick moved. And a lot cooler. And a lot cooler. <laughs> and about a million percent more swag. <laughs> yeah. So you got a big rock with a chain yep. to hold it down. Over there on that side is a old water heater tank filled with uh, an adjustable amount of water to account for the weight of the person on the bicycle. So you have to chain it to the rock to keep the bicycle from taking off on its own. Yeah. But then you just... That's a tail. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. When the rate comes down, and right when it hits the ground, you're at the deck of the treehouse. And then how do you come down? Well, that's the fun part. Because all you do is take your feet off the pedals and let go of the brake. <laughs> it's just like riding a bike, except up into the sky. So the main problem with it is that... So, how cool is that? I, I like that. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I thought that was so, super cool to be able to ride a bicycle up into the treehouse. Pretty smart idea. I know. So there are all of these different mm -hmm. kinds of yeah. innovative, creative ideas, ways to build homes, houses in the trees, hangout spots. Uh, and it's really fun, I think, for our imaginations. You can let your imagination run wild when it comes to all things tree houses. So we are just about wrapped up with all of this. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to share with you about how these tree houses are still being used. Wow. And um, <laughs> this is with the Korowai tribe in Southern Papa. Okay, so there's a just a little snippet to show you where this is, and then we're going to look at where it is on the map um, after let's, I show you this video. Michelle, let's do this. Alyssa, absolutely. <laughs> okay, what this is that say? native tribe I was telling you about that will um, build high so that they can have a lookout for any of the other tribes around them that might mean them harm. The tree house of the Korowai. That looks yeah. like hard 
work. It does. My mouth would be sore after that. Mm. Yep. <laughs> so it takes a while to climb up to the top. Plenty of time for you to see anyone coming if you don't want them to be climbing into your home or, the, or your bedroom. So let's see where that is. I'm going to tell them to get out. Papa. Papua. Um, I'm probably not saying it right. It's pronounced Papua. 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 Oh, yeah. Thank it's, you. It's, thank you, Denise. Been there. And it you sounds, have? yeah, I, but I've been to the northern part in New Guinea. But um, it sounds just like it's spelled. It's kind of weird. That's Papua. amazing. OK. I have it pulled up on my map so you can all see just exactly where this is. Just like Denise said, it's in New Guinea, which is just north of Australia. Oh. Yeah. So we are over here. Oh, look, it even tells us we're right there. That's where this tribe is that still lives in these tree houses. Papua. Did I get it right, Denise? Yep, that's perfect. Oh, wow. So uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. These tree houses, we have the whole gamut of luxury tree houses to very practical living spaces like here. Okay, everyone that concludes what I have for you in all things tree houses of the world. Y'all make me want to live in one. <laughs> I know, Alyssa, they're just so cool. I think it would be really cool. Mm -hmm. That would be really cool. Cool. Beth over here would be moving in and would make if there was two bathrooms and two bed. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you need that French luxury castle in the tree yeah. house. <laughs> you guys would it'd be the party cabin with you and uh, Beth. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, everyone, for being a part of the meeting and for everything you added to it. <laughs> uh, it was a really fun one. So I look forward to where we explore next. And that is to be determined. Coming at you Friday, you'll get a little inside scoop about where we'll be headed or what we'll be exploring. So it is a gorgeous day in Chattanooga. We hope that you can get out at some point and breathe a little bit of fresh air get a little bit of sunshine and enjoy the rest of your day and the I'm rest of your back week. at 5 30 right that's right we have chill okay. and chatter at 5 30 which is Yay. not a chilling, uh, chilling group yeah we'll be there oh and friday almost like i said we won't be here friday okay because we're most of us are going to go get our shots at 11 Yes, no worries, Alyssa. We'll record it too. So if you want to check it out over the weekend and do that activity on your own, you can always do that. I just want to let y'all know before. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Alyssa. Hosanna is getting theirs. Oh.